Hello! I'm coming to you at the dying embers of 2018 to update you on what's going off in the channel and with me and why am I in a different room? Well, this is a different room than the one I last recorded in on Christmas Eve because when my friend came on Christmas Eve there were two full-grown men in the room I'm not a small guy anyway and that room was too small. So since we've got four to pick from, I'm having this as my office now. It's double the length. But I've got to put a bed up down there later. So there'll be a single bed along here. And then this will be like my office, but also a semi guest room. And then we've got two rooms with beds in. And the room I was in has become the laundry room, like a walk in wardrobe for everybody. So we've got like lots of wardrobes in there. And we'll sort that all out. So that's why I'm in a yet a different room, a little bit echoey still. I've got nothing on this wall. There's only a picture and a few lights on that wall. So it's very bare at the moment. So please bear with the acoustics. But that's not the big news. So this year you've seen me move. You've seen me take on gaming-like projects, things like the World of Warcraft server. Um, some C++ stuff has come in and out of me. But as there's not been a huge amount of output. That's been because I've been incredibly busy with the work I was doing. I was a lead systems engineer, software engineer for uh, the digital products at the company I worked at. The digital products being things that were PC based with screens, LCD screens in them. That was what the digital product was. Um, and it was in an industry we called pay to play, but you might call gambling. So for the last 14 years, I've worked in a gambling company. I've seen gambling from the inside out. Now, I've seen things like the Jimmy McGovern uh, drama where they talk about the crack cocaine of gambling, the fix odd betting terminal. That's not the stuff I worked on. I worked on the system software that hosted the games and the games we ran were category C, which were up to two pounds stake and hundred pound win if you want, if you did win and um or smaller prizes and then there were things like question answers things like deal on a deal or beat the banker you know, uh, millionaire find the word search stuff like that they were they were sort of family quizzy games and they were games that unfortunately were being beaten out of the market by everybody having exactly that in their pocket uh, on a on a high def screen and these were very low power units now we needed to get the most out of them um, and as time went on, more and more units came out, more and more equipment came out. There were lots of different platforms it went on. I think I ported the main system I worked on went on at least six different cabinets with me porting it. And it went, the new system that I wrote that I actually created at home that the company took over. Um, good on them because they didn't pay me that much for it. Um, as in salary, the actual kit they kept. Yeah, I made it at home and they kept it. Um, that system was due for UK use and they bastardised it and it's gone for Spanish use. And that's why I say I used to work in gambling because of two days ago, the 28th, my contract was up. I have resigned. I left. I am no longer working for that company. After 14 years, I'm not working for them anymore. That's a big step. It's a little bit scary. It was very real when my P45 turned up. For, for anyone abroad, a P45 in the UK is your tax summary of earnings, so you can give it from your current employer back to your new employer. Um, and I got mine. Um, it was to the wrong address because though I'd moved here three months ago, a month ago, they still not updated anything. It kind of annoys me. But I'm not with them anymore. So what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to be working for a company called The Multiplayer Guys, a gaming company. Uh, they're related to cyber uh, super punk games, and we're based in Nottingham now. And I'm going to be working in the city centre, which is not far from where I was working, but it means I'm going to be driving to a tram stop, getting on the public tram, and in and out of the city that way. It's also completely different work. So... I was um, in charge of things like the Linux development, Linux C++, the networking, data collection, data... I hope I'm involved in exactly those things 
for the games we'll be working on. That's, that's where I live, it's my bread and butter, it's what I do. Cross-platform, Linux, uh, C++, data I mean, the C++ all behind me here, we can see all these things. Um, the Unity engine, the UI stuff, the graphical front end stuff, the client side stuff, and the console things, that's the stuff that the new guys know I need to get up to speed with. They're the things that I will be living and breathing. And you will probably be seeing an awful lot of that sort of stuff here from me, the stuff I need to learn. So the stuff I've been reading about um, over Christmas has been things like catching up on um, game engines, game engine stuff. I've learned a bit of Unity. I've been working with uh, threaded stuff, hence why... Uh, I bought and you saw me blog about this book um, there'll be more stuff like that coming out um, but it's going to be a little bit secret I can't tell you yet the project I'll be working on and the products I'll be working for now I can tell you that the company and members of the team and I will be having a good look over their shoulders are working on Fortnite they are working on the F1 series and they are working on um, their own in-house products, um, which include The Last Leviathan. If you look at The Last Leviathan, that's the last game that Superpunk released. Um, pretty good. Um, I saw the Yogg's Cast uh, playing it, and I you know, had a few hours on it myself, and quite enjoyed the physics in there and the fun of it. I saw the people making Flying Submarines. It was crazy. Um, not intended, by the way, but uh, very good. Uh, but the actual work I'll be doing, I can't tell you much about it. It's unfortunate, it's non-disclosure, I can't say. But I can tell you that we're probably going to America to kick, to bootstrap everything. Now, everything started, and I start on the 2nd of January, um, which is four days from today, or three days if you're looking at this when I post it. And, yeah, I've got to go to America. So I start on the 2nd, I go to America on probably the 16th. Yeah. <laughs> That's another reason why I bought the laptop. So back to the last uh, post you'll see about the, the deep thought about a new laptop. I have ordered it. It is a, a ThinkPad E480. And I bought it with the best processor, the, the, the i5, 4-core, 8-thread, and uh, the best screen, the high-definition IPS screen. But I bought it with the minimum memory, and I bought it with the minimum storage. It's got a 500 gigabyte 72 yeah 7200 rpm mechanical drive going in it which will come from them however they've configured it i will then get it check it store all the backup stuff store all the driver stuff and then that drive's probably going to come out and go on a shelf and i'm putting an m.2 250 gigabyte in there that i bought and extra ram so i'm doubling the oh, i'm going to quadruple the RAM straight away. So I'm taking the four gig stick out and probably putting two eight gig sticks straight in. They're in the mail, they're on their way. So it's an awful lot of stuff I need to jiggle. The question was, shall I go to America with that laptop on, you know, configured as it came? Or shall I do the upgrade first? I think I'll do the upgrade first. If it arrives, that's the key. I have uh, reached out to the Lenovo um, community forum manager uh, that I found on their website. I don't know if he's even got his mail, if he's even in the office, but if you get back to me, Joe, I'll happily talk more about that machine. I will be talking about it anyway, but you know, if it gets here tomorrow, I'll be talking about it in glowing terms, as opposed to if it turns up in the middle of January and I miss it. If it turns up while I'm in the US, it's going to be pretty pointless. Um, so the desk is the other way around. So I used to always look at the big screen over there. Um, and I've always preferred a right hand. I'm right handed. So I prefer to have an area to my right uh, to write on. So this works out that I've now got um, lamp, main screen, secondary screen, laptop and everything going to my right. So as I turn around, I've got everything here and the door is right behind me. The door actually looks out that way. The window, which I've got directly in front of me, has got the southern view. So I can look out over all the fields. Um, I may take a picture so you can see that in a second. Um, but I've, you know, I've got the printer set up to sort out. Um, still, it is wired. This is a mouse on top of it. But these are just from the Christmas tree that I've sorted out and pilfered. Um, obviously, the um, I guess you do this. So we've got just a picture. We've got the new whiteboard and this messy area. So we've been to IKEA. We've got the bed. It's here. This is the 
base or one half of the base, the other half is on the landing. That's going to be put up literally in a moment. Um, I'm going to put on some um, CPP con videos in a playlist. I'm going to go through them. Oh, this camera doesn't want to sit still. Oh, a bit, bit risky with. Um, but yeah, I wish you all a very happy new year. I will see you on the flip side, um, if not later. Um, if you want to find me, I'm playing lots of World of Warcraft. That's uh, Lots of World of Warships, even, um, as Zealous, X-E-L-O-U-S, you'll find me there. Uh, do check out the blog, megamaniacboard.blogspot.com, um, and I've rambled on for 10 minutes. Bye-bye.